This is Scott the Fixer Guy. Today we're going to be dealing with the Bosch electric dryer that is not heating as well as it did or keeps tripping the thermal fuse. And we're going to be cleaning up the elements. So we're going to unplug it from the 220 outlet and we get behind it and then we're going to remove this back panel and it's held on by some Torx 15 screws. There's a lot of them. Uh, some of them are designed to go into metal and into sheet metal and some are designed to go into plastic. So they're a little bit different. The ones near the bottom are the ones that go into the plastic and the ones in the upper area, the upper three quarters of the panel, they're the uh, metal sheet, sheet metal type. Just don't want to get them mixed up when you put them back in. Uh, the plastic ones have a more coarse thread and they're a little bit longer and they have a, like a, a pointy tip and the metal ones have a finer thread. So I'm just going to get all these out. There's a whole bunch of them. It's pretty famous for Bosch appliances. They always have a lot of fasteners holding things together. And what happens with these dryers is that the element gets a bunch of lint around it and it limits the airflow and when the airflow gets limited too much it can cause the dryer to heat up more than it's supposed to and that can make the thermal overload trip and then it won't heat up anymore this particular model does not have the manual resettable limit switch like some of the Bosch dryers on that type, you can just press a red button and it resets. On this one, if the thermal limiter or thermal switch is blown, then you have to actually put a new one in. So we're zipping out <clears throat> these lower screws. These are the plastic, the ones that go into plastic. You can see it goes into this gray plastic. And once we get these out, we can use a standard head screwdriver or a paint scraper to just gently pry off the panel and it should come loose pretty easily and you can use some compressed air in a compressed air can or you can use uh, an old toothbrush or a wire brush to knock away that lint that's accumulated on the element on the condenser version of this dryer, there's also a big filter in the front that's important to clean periodically of the lint because that can also make, make it overheat. So now we've got all the screws out. We're going to pull back on it, use a little paint scraper to give us some leverage. Just kind of gently start it off. And then it's pretty easy just to, to pull it off. It lets go. So that's the cover. And then again, on some of these, you'll see a black thermal overload switch with a red button. You just push that and it'll reset. This one doesn't have that. So we're going to take off this lower ducting. This brings the hot air from the element here above down into the tumbler. So we're just removing these Torx 15 screws. There's two of them. That'll get the ducting off. And then that'll expose a couple of screws at the bottom that hold the element Take on. Take a couple of screws off here. So there's just two, box. one on either side of the rear bearing. So we're going to get those off. Same thing with Torx 15. And then you can get the element out. At that point, you may decide that you have to replace the element which is un unlikely because these tend to last a long time, or just clean it. So there's just a lot of lint that was blocking the, the air passage. We're just going to use manual mechanical force with a wire brush to get these things cleared up. And we'll have good airflow again. So dryers are all about airflow, and they have a tendency to get clogged up. So a can of compressed air would also 
be nice to get all that blown out. A vacuum probably wouldn't do it. Probably wouldn't have enough uh, vacuum to pull out the stuff that's stuck in the fins. But a wire brush is good or the compressed air is good. So that looks a lot better. These are pretty good dryers. They last a long time. Um, they do have that problem though of the the filter that is inside the door getting clogged. And on Bosch filters, they're really a fine mesh, so it's very important to clean that one often. I'd say once a week. And then if it's a condensation dryer. You also want to pull out that big honeycomb one in the front, clean that maybe once every couple of months. And the element, not that often. You might come back here and clean this maybe twice a year. And then your dryer is going to just perform really well. So we're just putting that element back into position, putting the screws back in. We're putting the ducting back on. That in. It just has two screws that hold it in. There we go. Okay, screw in. Just putting that last screw in. Then we're going to put that back panel back on. Just has a lot of fasteners. Again, the metal ones for the sheet metal are up in the upper three quarters of the panel, and the lower part has the plastic ones about the last quarter of it. They're not plastic screws, but they're designed to go into plastic. So, in this dryer, if it ever doesn't heat properly or doesn't start, it's really smart to check the breakers because it uses two breakers, 110 on each to give you the 220. So sometimes one breaker will trip and it'll be, it'll still work in some regards. Maybe it'll turn on and spin, but it won't heat up. So just always good to check the breakers, turn them fully off until you can't go any further off and then turn them fully on to reset them. So we're just adding all of those screws back in. These, these here at the bottom of the ones for the plastic. So we got those all in and now the dryer's back working great. So thanks so much for watching the video and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance. Thank you.